We're here at the Miami International Boat Show. I just picked up my media credentials. Woo. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. The Miami International Boat Show dubs itself as the world's largest boat show, and it just may be. It takes place across six different locations, each featuring a unique collection of boats, accessories, and experiences. You could spend the five days of the show at any one location and not see everything at that location. I'm going to try and give you a brief tour of four of the locations I visited. The Miami Beach Convention Center, Harold Plaza, Venetian Marina, and the Museum Park Marina. So you see behind us, everybody getting in line, come in early. Check that boat out, very cool. So the first thing that you see when you come here is a large outdoor tent. Features quite a bit of, um, as we walk in here, we'll go through here. We can see right here, we have a bunch of ribs, most of the boats here you would think would be at the convention center, which we're going to check out a little bit later today. And then from here, we'll go into the main vendor tent, which is going to be straight ahead. Right there. And here you would find anything under the sun for boating from uh, insurance dealers, to lettering, electricity in order to keep your pipes clean. You'll have um, engine manufacturers, you'll have coolant, uh, you'll have vendors who will get you around when you're on the dock. So skateboards, one wheels, that type of thing. I should have a little bit of B-roll here that I can show you here. But this is the main thing. So what I'm hoping to do this morning is take you on a tour so we can see here from end to end, the place is huge. So um, if you can't find it here for your boat, you're not gonna find it anywhere. Well, let's go outside. I have to head over to the Venetian Whew, right outside today. So the show takes place primarily at three different locations. So here we have the main marina. On the other side of the bridge over here, we have the Venetian Marina. And then we also have the convention center. I am going to make my way over to the convention center a little bit later today, and obviously I'll take you along. But um, let's go see what the show has to offer. Here we are at the uh, Venetian Marina. This marina seems to be focused mostly on center consoles, fishing, high-end fishing ships, fishing ships, fishing boats, as you can kind of see here. It is amazing how far these boats have come. They're not your dad's fishing boats anymore. They're designed with speed in mind, get you out to the fishing ground as quickly as possible so that you can enjoy your day. One of the great things that they offer here at the Venetian Marina is sea trials. So this entire dock, which I'll show you here in a second, allows potential buyers to take boats out on sea trials. They go out, run around, I think, Biscayne Bay here and allow the buyers to test out the boats uh, before they buy it. And these are some really, really nice boats. Uh, speaking of big engines here, quad 600s crazy 
and there is definitely no shortage of blue boats this year. We're going to be headed over to the convention center. We're going to jump onto the water taxi right now. I guess it's two taxis to get there, so we'll see what happens, but come aboard. So we just got off of the water taxi and I didn't even know, to be honest, this is actually a surprise. This is the sailboat portion of the show, which is going to be mostly catamaran. So let's see if we can jump on one or two, see what they have here. It's going to be the moorings and a bunch of other ones, but this is kind of a nice surprise. And then from here, we'll go to the convention center. Didn't even realize they had the sailboat portion of the show here so I think we're gonna try and get onto a boat or two see if we can't get a tour and check them out in the coming weeks we'll bring you tours of the signature 580 and the XS XCS 14 okay so we're on the tour bus we're gonna take it to I guess we go to somewhere else, and then from there we have to hop on another bus that will take us to the convention center. So they just made us get off the bus, and now they're getting us back on the bus in order to go to the convention center. Too funny. Here we are at the Miami Beach Convention Center. Let's go inside to see what the boat show has to offer here. One thing you notice right away when you come into the convention center, it is huge. I don't know if I'll be able to give you a taste of everything that's going on today here at the convention center only because a battery is running low and I feel my camera is gonna die on me. So I'll give you as much as I can. Just do a quick walkthrough. There is a ton of stuff here. Wow. At the convention center, you'll find boats up to 49 feet, engine manufacturers, accessories, and various other pavilions. AB inflatables. We'll find out. We'll ask. It's amazing how much even these little tenders cost nowadays. I don't know if we have a price here. I'm, let's say this one right here. Yep. It's incredible. It's a $50,000 boat. It's 11 feet long don't understand why these inflatables are so expensive. If anybody can tell me, um, please your, leave your comments down below. I don't know, is it about construction? Is it just supply and demand? But it, it seems so out of control. One of the most popular displays at the convention center was the Mercury V12 600 Verado engine. It features dual countered rotating props, and unlike any other outboard, only the lower unit rotates, much like a pod drive. The upper unit remains still. Another great thing about this engine is that it can be fully maintained without having to remove the boat from the water. Not bad for about $77,000. But here we have the Hurricane. Nice little everyday boat. Big cruiser for the afternoon. And here we go, look at this. As I was saying. Show price, $39,000. You can put a ton more of your family and friends into this boat. Granted, it's not a tender, it's not a dinghy. But, why is that dinghy $10,000 more than this one? I don't get it. And again, if you know why, leave your comments down below because I can't understand that. Yeah, so this upper portion of the show just has all the accessories one can imagine. 
shoes, sunglasses, fishing poles, docking, you name it. If it's an accessory for boating, it's going to be here. But it's a little too crowded for my liking, so I'm going to head on back down. Back at Herald Plaza, the main marina for the show, after checking out a few more boats, the rains came and washed out the afternoon. But that was okay. During the evening, after hours, the docks came alive. With boats showing off their lighting and people enjoying the festivities, everyone had a great time. Join us in the coming episodes as we bring you tours of some incredible boats. Here's a quick preview. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. We appreciate your continued support, and see you next time.